Hello everyone, here we have the example for the topic differentiation. The function f is defined by the function fx is equals to ln bracket x minus 1 over x minus 1 for the domain x greater than 1. By considering the first and the second derivative for the function fx, show that there is only one maximum point on the graph for y is equals to fx. So given the situation fx is equals to ln bracket x minus 1 over x minus 1. So now we are going to find the first derivative and the second derivative. Let u as ln bracket x minus 1, v as x minus 1. So by using the quotient rule, kindly differentiate the situation. So given f prime x is equals to v where we have x minus 1 multiply with u prime meaning that we need to differentiate ln bracket x minus 1 so we will have 1 over x minus 1 do remember to differentiate the internal function and we will obtain 1 minus u where we have ln bracket x minus 1 differentiate the v so we will have 1 over v squared where we have x minus 1 squared kindly simplify the situation and we will have f prime x is equals to 1 minus ln bracket x minus 1 over x minus 1 bracket square next we are going to find the second derivative again let 1 minus ln bracket x minus 1 as a u x minus 1 square as a v so find the second derivative so f double prime x is equals to v where we have x minus 1 bracket square differentiate the u and we will have bracket 0 minus bracket 1 over x minus 1 do remember to differentiate the internal function and we will have 1 minus u where we have 1 minus ln bracket x minus 1 multiply with v prime so we will have 2 bracket x minus 1 to the power of 1. Do remember to differentiate the internal function and we will obtain 1 over v squared where we have x minus 1 bracket to the power of 4. Simplify the situation f double prime x is equals to negative bracket x minus 1 minus bracket 1 minus ln bracket x minus 1 multiply with 2 bracket x minus 1 over x minus 1 to the power of 4. Kindly simplify the situation. So f double prime x is equals to x minus 1 bracket if we factor out the x minus 1 and we will obtain negative 1 minus 2 bracket 1 minus ln bracket x minus 1 over x minus 1 to the power of 4 so we can simplify the situation and we will have f double prime x is equals to negative 1 negative 2 plus 2 ln bracket x minus 1 over x minus 1 to the power of 3. So finally we will have f double prime x is equals to 
2 ln x minus 1 minus 3 over x minus 1 to the power of 3. Kindly focus on show that there is only one maximum point on the graph for the function y equals to fx. So meaning that we are going to let the situation f prime x is equals to 0. So kindly substitute the function and we will have 1 minus ln bracket x minus 1 over x minus 1 bracket square equals to 0. Cross multiply the situation and we will have 1 minus ln bracket x minus 1 is equals to 0. Rearrange the situation ln x minus 1 is equals to 1. Kindly express the situation in the indices form where we will have x minus 1 is equals to e to the power of 1. So x is equals to e to the power of 1 plus with the 1. So here we will have the critical value where we have x is equals to e to the power 1 plus 1. So next, we are going to show that it is the maximum point. Kindly substitute the situation into the second derivative. Where we will have f double prime bracket e to the power 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 ln bracket e to the power 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus with the 3 over e to the power of 1 plus 1 minus 1 to the power of 3. So kindly simplify the situation where we will have 2 ln bracket e to the power of 1 minus 3 over e to the power of 1 bracket cube. So we can simplify the situation become 1. So meaning that we will have 2 minus 3 and we will obtain negative 1 over e to the power of 3. So where we have f double prime bracket e to the power of 1 plus 1 is equal to negative 1 over e to the power of 3. Where we have a value which is less than 0. So meaning that this is a maximum value when x is equal to e to the power of 1 plus 1. So from here, we can say it, we have already shown the situation that in this function, it is only one maximum point on the graph. So when the question mentioned about the point, so meaning that we need to look for the value y. So kindly substitute the value of x equals to e to the power 1 plus 1 into the function fx. So where we will have f bracket e to the power 1 plus 1 is equals to ln bracket e to the power 1 plus 1 minus 1 over e to the power 1 plus 1 minus 1. Simplify the situation and we will have ln e to the power 1 over e to the power 1. So finally, if we simplify the situation and we will obtain 1 over e for the value of y. So meaning that the maximum point will be e to the power 1 plus 1 and the value of y will be e to the power of negative 1 bracket. So it shows that there is only one maximum point on the graph for the function y is equals to fx. So kindly focus on the question B. Use the result obtained in part A to state the exact coordinate of the maximum point. So previously, we already identified or determined the value of the point, which is the maximum point. So the situation would be the maximum point is bracket E1 plus 1 and the value of y will be e to the power of negative 1 which is the maximum point. So c, find the x coordinate of the function f 
when the second derivative is equal to 0. Kindly refers to the second derivative and where we will have 2 ln bracket x minus 1 minus 3 over x minus 1 to the power of 3 equals to 0. And next we will have 2 ln bracket x minus 1 minus 3 equals to 0. Rearrange the situation ln x minus 1 is equal to 3 over 2. Kindly express the situation in the indices form and we will have x minus 1 equals to e to the power of 3 over 2. So finally, the value of x will be x is equal to e to the power of 3 over 2 plus 1. So this will be the x coordinate of the function f when the second derivative is equal to 0. So the final answer will be x is equal to e to the power of 3 over 2 plus 1. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.